Dr. Vogel? The upgrades are completed. We are ready for the test. But I ran the numbers again. Yeah, yeah, you are still worried we could have a containment failure. Keeping the dimensional barrier open that long will redline every system in the cyclotron. I, I cannot promise she will hold together. Kurt, do you pay oh, any sure. attention to reports from the Eastern Front? We do this now. Before the Red Army arrives, but we do not do it at all. Of course, of course. I just thought we should go into this with our eyes open. Understood, my dear Kurt. But if we can change the course of the war, any risk is worth taking. Processing. Hello! Scheiße! The monsters! They are everywhere. I am surrounded. My men, they are all gone, and all that remains. And station has fallen. That scientist, he knew something. First he flees during the transport, then the radiation leak. Now the undead are everywhere. That Satsak, that swine! He knew this would happen. He left us for dead. Breathe, water. It will be fine. They will send reinforcements, they have to. So until then, I will... I will, I will hide, yeah. That's right, I will hide, and I will wait. Will Refogel, Director of Project N, Station 19th of March 1944. Dr. Kurtz and I continue our study of the men so grotesquely transformed by the cyclotron accident. We have confirmed an exotic element contaminated their bodies, necrotizing the flesh and shutting down essential metabolic functions while somehow maintaining a semblance of life in them. Our hope is to modify a radiation scrubber and heal the poor wretches, but they will not be willing patients, so we will need a chamber of sorts. This may take some time. Vogel, 3rd of April, 1944. After a great deal of trial and error, the decontamination chamber is complete. Kurtz, unfortunately, referred to it as Der Wechsler. And I'm afraid the nickname's stuck. <sighs> to be clear, we are not trying to change these men so much as restore them. And the initial results are encouraging, slightly. Removing exo-elemental contamination from their brains improved some higher functions and reduced their violent outbursts. But these men are far from restored. Medical trials will continue. Ulrich Vogel, PhD, 22nd of August, 1944. It took losing Normandy to finally get the furious attention. Now, at last, he wants to weaponize our findings here at End Station. It was an idea that occurred to me the moment I first conceived of the Wechsler. If we can restore the minds of our necrotized soldiers, even just to follow simple commands, we could unleash an undead army on both fronts. Just imagine, each brave German who falls in battle rising back up to protect the fatherland. It gives me joy to picture the enemy running in terror from men who cannot die. Are you certain no one saw us come down here? Lazarev and his people have gone into Poznan. Just make sure no one else approaches. Trust me, no one knows we helped ourselves to whatever this is. You know perfectly well what it is. Gold. Now for both of us to buy a nice dacha in the country. I do not know why they need a gold for a big fish tank, but at least this is to take out. That is no aquarium, Kalashnik. Look more like a gas chamber. <laughs> Fucking Nazis. Whole place stinks of death, Dmitriev. But you and I will be rich long after a bad smell fades away. Processing. I still cannot believe that idiot German tried to sneak back in here. <laughs> and I thought scientists were supposed to be smart. 
Well, it's not like anyone in Poznan would want to shelter him. I wonder what he wanted. You think he came back for this gold? Let Colonel Lazarev worry about that. You just remember which tree, okay? Stay safe up there. Uncle Vadim and Uncle Alexei will come for you just as soon as Berlin is in flames. Processing. Just think, Dr. Beck. In two days, we will forge a new future for the Soviet Union. So, I take it you found your men? I found two volunteers for the task. <laughs> you find that amusing? No, more ironic, actually. In 1945, the Red Army volunteered a man's life to shut it down. Forty years later, here we are. Volunteering men to be activated. It's almost poetic. Guess you can't teach an old Soviet new tricks. I am not interested in tricks, Beck. I am interested in results. If my calculations are correct... If your calculations are correct, we will have immediately achieved more than those Nazi bastards ever did. And rest assured, they are correct. Let's hope so. The Colonel isn't one to suffer fools gladly. I hope you are ready, comrade. What I am ready for is to perform my duty as ordered. You do not have to sound so cold. Look, you see these footsteps we take? This is a stepping into history. When we restart the machine, a new chapter for Mother Russia begins. All thanks to us. We will be remembered as heroes, you and I. Do you not agree? Do you know what will happen when we turn on that machine? Did they tell you anything? They told me it was first step towards Soviet supremacy. So they did not tell you either. What more do you want? We were told enough. Come now. We must complete our job. Which will it be, Orlov? Will you be remembered a hero or coward? A hero, Medvedev. I hope. Processing. My son, little Katya. I know you cannot hear me, but I must ask you. Give me strength. I make a group has given me my orders. I am to restart that infernal machine. In this, I have no say. It is my duty. When it is reactivated, I do not know what will happen. That information is considered very much above my rank, but considering the precautions the others not take, I must face the possibility that I may never see you again. I hope this is not true. I hope that nothing will change, that the world will stay as it is. But I fear I am opening a box that cannot be closed. I will see you both again.